this afternoon and it's trouble for Charlie Jackson from London who takes the lead early on 904 well he gained about 10 cards he's about to lose them now as uh, they all come piling in through the back and it's Charlie Jackson who leads the way and 224 Lewis Cannon then uh, there in second spot 334 Mr Starter with a black cross there we go and uh, Stuart makes his way underneath the Ox making Good progress, oh, on one eight then, uh, through he goes, Simon Amos decides to take out the tyre rather than negotiate the bend, Damien Matthews comes to a grinding halt, winner of our unlimited banger final, and booking himself a spot in the World of Shale final, we are doing that on Saturday, but haven't started in the best of ways, he'll be out there in the Siamese later on as well, but at the front of affairs, down the back straight, it's now Lewis Cannon in 2 2 4 and takes up the lead. Charlie Jackson will be trying his level best to get back to him. Uh, Licorice and Craig Allen in 1 8 1 have had a uh, coming together down on the back straight. And oh, we've got someone uh, passenger side up, he gets it turned around, he's got a three point turn, he thinks he's coming out of Tesco car park. But back to the front, 2-2-4 it is, Lewis Cannon who leads, don't forget the black cross means that uh, he could potentially be docked. So then a green flag goes down, no problem straight away for uh, Bang 244. That's Mark Curtis who quits the tie, but down here we've got the white off with Wade Ray Rouge, just confused everybody who will uh, lead the way. And it's oh, a stiffy there goes into the uh, fence, bounces off, still leads the way. Then he can't have a 291, but he's going to spin out of it. Here's the 291 car, and that will put Jordan Bliss at the head of affairs in Canada 194. Jordan Bliss leading then, going down uh, the back straight in the turns three and four for the first time. Kind of a 291 Stiff Haddon. Doesn't look like he's going to get going again. Right, get, oh, and uh, Steve Willis there in uh, kind of a 66. Has a bit of a fall and kind of a 244 goes out again. There's uh, Matt Curtis. In fact, he rolled over it, Curtis. He rolled over and back on his wheels. So uh, Curtis uh, will try and rejoin after that one. And looks like Brum's here for the lead. Well, no, it's not the leader. It's a uh, driver. It's uh, old Stiffy who was leading the way earlier on. But he's going a bit all over his uh, Steve Hadding, kind of a 2 and 9 1. It's still 1 9 4. Jordan Bliss, who leads from 6 3 2. Sam Tomlinson, 3 2 1. The frog. Marcus Steeles is uh, in third place and battling on through. The Reds and Superstars not really making much of an impact in this one, although Ian Robbins makes up a few places in column 96 as he goes into turns three and four. Oh, and the frog there goes into Sambo. They both clash there and go uh, a bit wide. It's kind of 1 9 4. Jordan Bliss, who still leads away though. It's 3 2 1. The frog second, 6 3 2. Tomlinson third. Column 16. Ray Layton is now off into fourth place. And uh, so far these drivers going around quickly and uh, managing to keep uh, the Robins all on three wheels. Sambo clips the fence once again going down the back straight and it's uh, kind of a 66 uh, Willis in uh, trouble again as he spins off. Leading the way though it's kind of a 194 Jordan Bliss who leads 3 2 1 the frog second. 16 Ray Layton out to third place ahead of Lee Barnard in kind of a 490 and 96 in Robins. The superstar's not really showing yet. Porky Aldridge is the. Uh, First one of those in kind of a 576. Oh, and another rollover over there, but he's also landing back on his wheel, so we can keep everything going, Mr. Starter. Here, hard at the moment, don't get too excited. He's still 194, Blissey who leads from 16 late and 3 2 1 the front third. 96 here, Robbins is moving through now into uh, fourth place. Oh, 185, the killer. Ben uh, Oliver crashes out there with car number uh, 185, that is in the uh, car number 132. Here comes the leader, there's all sorts happening now as the uh, Matt Marcus uh, joining right in front of his Blissey who leads though, 16 later, he's uh, trying to blast his way there around the outside and will count number 16, Ray Layton from the red right, hit the front, in fact Layton now does hit the front, going down the back straight, it's Ray Layton, a new leader, big count number 16, count number 194, Blissey is still in that second place, with a 3-2-1, the front third. Drivers there, not sure where to go, the inside, all the outside, the second car out there, 1-3-2, oh my goodness me, that one! Well, he nearly uh, 
ended up a bit nicely for him, it was a career into the tyres upside down, but he managed to drive very, very well there to keep it on all three wheels. Over from 16, Ray Layton leads the way. Oh, what over there! And uh, in fact, he's not going to go on his wheels, so it's Wave Yellows, Mr. Starter. Wave Yellows on the raceway. Sam the Tomlinson in car number 632, who has been bitching and bashing his way around, does uh, eventually succumb and roll over there. The race leader, in fact, goes down. We're back racing with Ryan Robin. Heat number one is 16, Ray Layton. He's got the frog, though, and Roy Gage. Right behind him though, and Gage uh, tries to make a bit of a bid there by putting the bumper in on the front, but it's still Leighton who powers his way around to uh, still lead the way in kind of a 16. Roy Gage gets the inside line going down the uh, back straight in kind of a 385, and Gage puts the uh, frog into Leighton. Those two spin out, and Leighton's gone. Oh, and he's over! And will he go back on his wheels? Indeed, he does. Kind of a 16 there, uh, lands back on his wheels, so it's Roy Gage now who leads the way in kind of a 385. It's uh, second play. Oh, and Neil Robbins there climbs up the fence, comes back down though on the wheels. And Wade Yellows with started. Wade Yellows on the raceway. So the Wade Yellows come out. So Wade Yellows come out. One, three, two. Green flag goes out. We're about racing now. He's Roy Gage gets the uh, jump there slightly. On the rest of the field, Danny Douglas, the world champion, though, straight out of him, count 5 out three, and Douglas going to try and challenge now for this race, Lady Buster Bumper in there on Gage, in count number 3, 5, the top two are side by side, going down the back straight, so Douglas tries to get the all-important inside line, in count number 5, 5, 3, and Gage there is pushed wide, in count number 3, 5, Gage will keep the power down, has he got anything that he can come back to Douglas on, as they go on this uh, final lap, it's Douglas now who leads, in count number 5, 5, 3, Gage, he's trying everything, can he's going to be now or never, they go down to the back uh, final bend now it's Douglas who leads can Gage come on with anything to try and retake the lead he tries to keep the uh, tight line but it's going to be Douglas who takes it in car number 553 Danny Douglas the race winner in 553 Gage in second in car number 385 the rest of them come through to uh, complete the distance oh and Stiffy there again going up on the uh, Two wheels as he goes, a career in there towards our fancy caliber 291. But he manages to come back and keep on going. straight in with the old bumper there is uh, 503 Mulby and 557 Jagger they attack the oh my god the following the oh my goodness me and Reds which is now Reds on the raceway has a big one straight away down there as a uh, Hallwood gets followed in So then happening there straight away on the early lap of this one, a big following going in. Uh, moving over there straight away as they uh, want to be on two wheels in Knuckles in kind of a 519. Yeah, oh, and he's over! One over again, we start Reds again, Reds away. We said he was a bit unsteady coming down uh, as the green flag went down and not another lap completed before we have one over as Knuckles this time. 
rolling over in car number five, a one nine with his uh, teammate, car number seven, eight five. Green flag goes down, let's see if we can get any further off uh, with uh, Micro, or Siamese banger rather. Oh, and Cock and Gedge there, here in Canada's 135, really go deep into that bend and uh, almost end up in the fence. Up front is Canada 87, Damien Matthews, the winner of the East Anglia Championship, who leads the way. The rest of them are uh, flying on through at this moment in time. It's 87, Damien Matthews, who leads, but he's being put wide there by. Uh, one of the shunts of yours, and it's Jagard in 557 who uh, leads it. And uh, Lee Wright in uh, car number 551. So Alex Taylor and Carl Salter come down. They look like they were taking a bit of interest in the back of the stretch motor in Calibre 830. Well, leading the way it is the shunters. In car numbers 557 and 503. Demi Matthews though is catching him again. It's oh, and a bit of a tangle there with other uh, predators involved in the 178 car. Also stretching 830. Gedge and uh, Corky are coming in, and oh, there could be a big follow in here, and in he goes. Boom! Oh, the triple follow in. Well, following there as uh, Salto's also on the back of that, and uh, it ends up with uh, Bowman and Bates turned around. It looks like we've got something going the wrong way down there. What's going on with Brent Jackson? In can number 551, and Jackson's going for a big end. Oh, my word! That was massive as he goes and stops the leader with a gigantic heading on. And in there goes uh, some more of the Borough Boys. The licorice has got part in it as well. And the uh, stretch also involved. Well, 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 it's all going on out there. And uh, if we can have any cars left, I'm not too sure, to be honest, Mr. Starter. Because, uh, oh, what are Mr. Starter, one over now, Reds, Mr. Starter, Reds on the raceway, Reds on the raceway, as one also over on the back straight, and it really is all uh, kicking off in the Siamese bangers. So the Reds out straight away, and uh, we'll try and get our breath of just exactly what's going on. Green flag goes down, we're back racing, it's three laps to go as well, Mr. Starter. Sorry, I'm, oh, if I were told you, that we are clever, are we? Three laps to go, it's Damian Matthews and Jason Smythe who will lead them off. Let's see if we can do these last three laps without too much of an incident, because uh, we want some of these cars to survive. Stretch is running in second place in 8.30, the South is a third. Taylor and Carl, the brothers 2.88 and 3.88. Then it's uh, James Licorice and Alex Hensby, Canada's 51 and 375. Looks like the uh, Predators have a bit of a problem there. In uh, the shape of Kieran Bowman, he uh, pulls off on the middle, but it is Matthews who leads with Jason Smythe, car number 87, 8.30 stretch. He's flying around his second, he could well be catching now. And the Souths are still in third place, in fact, uh, definitely catch him, but whether he's got time, because he's only got one lap left to go. Damien Matthews and Jason Spy, the race leader. Oh, what's Bowman doing on the back straight, Mr. Snowden? He's turned it round, has he got somebody he's after in this one? Oh, he causes problems there for Stroud! Oh, and it goes over the Souters and the Predators, the Borough Boys there in the shape of uh, Colbert and George. Going for a good measure, and in goes the Carisha Nensby. He counters 51 and 375 as well. And uh, the checker flag goes out. That will, uh, well, it's 87 who uh, is the winner. There. A rollover, race, Mr. Stardo, another rollover over there. Oh, and he goes straight there as well on uh, Bowman. Okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, they deserve a round of applause, those drivers. That was a fantastic effort from the uh, Siamese uh, pack of drivers. Mr. Sala gets the flag up, we're off and ready to go, it's Greens out there, watch them all back up, the Ox is going back the pitch, uh, no he's alright, oh Craig Allen who won our first, gets the Ox straight out, it's Nathan Matthews on the foot going, he's great in the back, so oh carnage over on the roadside turn as Kurt Dave Allen gets blitzed, one of the Ashbridges is in the back as well, so here we go then, uh, back to the front we go, and it's 118 who leads the way, uh, 118. 118, it's not 118, 118 Mr. Starr, it's just 118. 
So, uh, oh, look at that. Callum Taylor through the back of Aston Evans. It's Taylor Salter you're going after. So, uh, man, they come as uh, Kieran Greenway and 191 comes from right in hole and gets done by 135. Donny Mann. Oh, Salter in the back of Donny Mann. Oh, there's 118, the leader. Gets it all wrong. Mann now side up as Aston Levers gets involved with 87 Matthews. Callum Taylor comes back through again. So down here, 3 3 4. Stewart uh, limping along after some carnage down there. Callum Lace has been caught up with 28. Mac Bell as they still keep flying in. Carl Corsby, the next one to get caught up. Oh, and then we go again. Aston Levers getting caught over the front wheel by 118. Austin Freestone's come to a grinding halt down there. So the Ox is behind Taylor Sound is the starter. So here we go, 118 still leads the way. And here we go, he's just a moment. Taylor Sauter is running for his life. So plenty of stuff going on down the back straight as Taylor Sauter's chasing Callum Taylor. The Ox is chasing Taylor Sauter. And someone's just gone past the Ox as if he's not moving. It's uh, Russell Gill, Russell Gill on the charge, look at it. In 77, flying, it's 118 who still leads away, taking everyone out on his way around Ben Minot, featuring well. Bowman is up there chasing hard as well. Stretch is now getting uh, through onto the ox and nudges him wide. So Sal has gone wide, the ox has got him in his sight. As 224, Lewis Cannon now puts himself in the line of fire. Craig Allen! Goodness me! Lively scenes as Callum Taylor goes round the fence. Oh, the Ox in there on the red flag on 224. Oh, well, there we go, Ben Minot is off and racing there. Uh, So here we go, and uh, back to the front we go. Ben Minot giving the black cross for jumping the start. So he's first across the line, but once again, like early on, oh, one, four, three. Three next time, Mr. Sala. Three to go next time as uh, the carnage continues. Down there, Callum Lacey getting caught up with uh, the former UK champion, 165, Ben Randall. Look at Lewis Callum flying past Callum Taylor along with uh, Callum Gill. They're all. Uh, Getting past the young man. So Minot, Bowman, stretches on the charge. Avis uh, still going on. Oh, Avis fires her uh, stretch wide, and that has definitely caught him out. So the Ox inside his uh, teammate, Callum Taylor. Oh, oh, goodness me! A stretch getting all out of sorts. So, why not? There he goes, Bowman. Bowman, oh goodness me, I, I thought he was going in for the shot. I didn't realize that maybe it was one of his teammates. So, around they come, and uh, is anyone going to take the opportunity on young Jamie Blyman? So, Freddie will go, might not come across the line first. Oh no! The Ox gets it all out of sorts there. And um, once again finds cars jumping. Oh, we got an opposite there. Do back through they come. Taylor Sauer just uh, on the back of Brett Jackson, nudging him out of the way. Oh! 178 Bowman blows, blowing up in style. There we go, Mr. Stoddard, we get the Reds out on the raceway and uh, a check on Jamie Blyvin down here who receives a monstrous shot from the... Uh
Well, then it's Lewis Goffrey who leads the first time coming down the home straight. Sonny Parsons also there as uh, Brad Bartram spins out in car number 69. The Red Tops get a moving on stretches. Uh, current national points champion at the back of the bridge is going past Spud in car number 791. 441 Lee Horwood in a bit of a form. He spun around there and uh, 100 Callum White also in trouble as he goes on the middle. Now the front though is Lewis Godfrey who leads and passes again. In goes the bumper there though from Lee Bart. And uh, Bart's there, pulls passes wide. And he's uh, going to try and come through at the inside and take the lead. He spins out. Godfrey as well, there's Barnes in car number 41 as he comes through now and leads on the uh, leader. And he could well be Barnes. A good uh, lap there by Barnes there. Took already the first and second. And it's 41 Barnes who hits the front. So 41 leads now from 23 passes. He's he's having a steering issue. He goes into Lee Horwood. Then kind of a 4 4 1 left himself. Sat up there at the end of the straight now as the 23 passes machine. Well, so these 4 by 4 drivers likely to want to get a race to surround the cars before uh, any uh, wrecking that begins. So that Parsons gets going. But it's 41 who leads. Lee Barnes. Lee Barnes the leader. 313, Scotty Eldon in second place. Third place is 170, Chris Schiff. That's how they stand at the moment. So Lee Horwood having a bit of fun there as he uh, mixing it with Adam Storr and Taylor Souder. Oh, and uh, Callum White there goes and puts uh, Parsons in. So then, 23 Parsons in trouble there, it's 100 Callum White rejoined. But it is uh, 41 Barnes who leads still. 313 Elden second, 170 ship third. Here comes your leader, kind of a 41. 313 Elden goes up uh, the inside of uh, 100 Callum White. Might not be the wisest move if uh, Colin White's in an entertaining mode. Karen Bowman pulls off with problems in Carnival 178. Chris Ship coming through as well in Carnival 170. Has his ambition in Carnival 128. And oh, he goes wide again. In Carnival 100. And there are three laps to go next time. It's the start of three laps next time around for our current race leader, who's 41. Lee Bars. Here comes Bars now. He puts the bumper in on Adam Storr, who he's about to laugh in kind of the 851. 41 Bars the leader now. He goes past Storr. Really has got some speed that motor as uh, Bars in 41. 313 Elden also going well. What's happened to Ship? Oh, Shippy in third place. Now it's Spud who's going to be attacked by uh, 41 Bars or attacked by a bit of a strong word as Bars goes uh, flying around the outside of it. Really is quick. Is uh, 41 Barnes. Looney Lee in kind of a 41 leading this one, leading it well. 170 Chris Ship has now moved into second place. 128 Andy Ship into third place. And he's possibly stretched now, coming through into fourth. Although he's got a flat tyre on the outside front, that could well uh, slow his progress down a bit. But with the laps counting down. He'll uh, no doubt try and uh, get a place. He's 41 bounce in leads. 170 ship in second. 1 to 8, ship him up to third. And Callum White, in he goes again there. That's Lee Howard. Puts himself in as well then, does uh, Callum White. So Callum White certainly uh, mixing it in out there. One of the uh, poster men early on. Kieran Bowman, oh, Bowman gets hit on the head on there by Godfrey. He kind of a 93. I think Souter might have done it before, which I missed that to be honest. In 388, we're looking at the front of the Shinsalta machine. And uh, Callum White in Callum 100. He's got going once again, but the check and flag now, everybody's coming through to get him back. Tell us out, definitely hit something hard in Callum 388. Callum White also in. And OK, Mr. Stanley, that will do the race, please. Racing with the uh, Reliant Robbins, he number two, and uh, 805 is spun out straight away. There, that's Alex Brindley. He'll try and get going once again. The Red Sox tackle fly round. It's kind of a 291 in his way. Stiff Haddon in 291 leading, going down the back straight. So then, they've all survived lap one. Okay. 
and it's 2 9 1 who leads. Oh, in fact, no, it's not. It's 2 9 1 spoke himself up there. Leading is Jordan Bliss, sorry, now number 194. Oh, and one over there. Yeah, we've got 1 v 2. Oh, Riggs, you're going to go back on the wheels now. He just manages to. Look for a moment, that five. Uh, 5 4 chalky dog. Oh, and he's back, rolled himself again. And uh, the yellow's Mr. Starter. So 1 3 2 there. Managed to get himself back in his wheels. Tried to rejoin the race. And no, oh, my goodness me. Still gets clipped. Well, that's one way to get him back in his room, I suppose. So uh, Jordan Bliss there, the leader. Clips in and we'll stop him on the start finish line, please, Mr. Starter. Green flag goes down. 2 4 4 oh, 6 3 2. They're all going crashing out over there. 2 9 1. He's happening as well. That was Jordan Bliss to get away with it in car number 1 and 9 4. So Jordan Bliss leads away. 3 and 4 are pressed down here between uh, part of the rest of the pack, back with uh, the frog involved there in car 3-2-1, we've got Sambo in 6-3-2. And Wave Yellows, Mr. Stanley, Wave Yellows on the race, mate. That's another one over here, so the Wave Yellows come out, once again. And somebody over on the back straight as well. And one on the corner, so three cars rolling over in this one. These drivers really find it difficult to get these cars on three wheels here today. So then Green Flag goes down once again, we're back racing, it's the Frog who takes it up now in Canada 3 2 up. Jordan Bliss comes under attack there from Ray Layton in Canada 16, look for a second like he might be side swipes and roll, but Bliss manages to move a bit out of the way. Jim, job, job. He goes on the infield and rolls over. He's going to try and push himself back over, is he? It's uh, certainly rocking his hat, uh, Robin. So it's 3 2 1 who leads Marcus Skills. Marcus Skills, the leader in Canada 3 2 1. Ray Layton in Canada 16 is catching. Also, we've got to Porky Moon, well in 576. 4 9 to Lee Barnard there. So, Gage, we think possibly there as well. Clock being 3-2-1. Roy Gage in second place now in 3-8-5. And 5-7-6 Colin Allred next in line. He's down at 5-7-6. So then Gage moving very well now in 3-8-5. Certainly wheeling in this leader, Skills. He can with 3-2-1. Skills got the back marking drivers to deal with. First of all, it's 8 5 The first of those, he's uh, trying to move past. He goes on the outside of him. Again, oh, and 8 5 goes over this time. And he's going to land on his wheels once again. Is he? Yep, he does. So. So the frog nearly went over there. Oh, in fact, now uh, we've got a challenge up front. And we're free to go next time. We start free next time. And it's Gage who now hits the front. In kind of a 3 5 Roy Gage, the race leader, going down the back straight. Gage moves away in 3 8 5 3 2 1. Skiers second, 16 late, and he's third. 4 90 Barnard, probably the one next in line, where it's Gage leading the way in the uh, 385 machine. 3 2 1 Skiers second, late, and third in Canada 16. Gage coming faster than Marcus here, one by Mark who's got to negotiate. Oh, and uh, Porky retiring in 5 7 6. He was well up there early on in this one. Feels like a hose or something has blown on that one. Rachel Love Scales still second, 16 lights in third. Will Gage now pulling away the head of affairs in kind of a 385. Roy Gage who leads. In kind of a 385. Oh, oh, my word, he nearly hit. Oh, in fact, he does hit it this time. And one rolled over there. Now a 2 4 4 left. Wave yellows, Mr. Starro, wave yellows on the race, mate. Oh, and another one. My word. So the wave yellows come out. Roy Gage the lead. So then green flag goes down. It's a one lap shootout here. Can Gage uh, survive at the head of affairs? Well, he gets uh, a decent looking uh, gap on the rest of the field as the green flag goes down. The front's chasing him, kind of a 3 2 1. Looks like it could well be to no avail, though. They all. Uh, 
Miss James Ellis's car there, who's uh, celebrating his birthday today, James. Happy birthday to James in uh, car number 85. But a bit unlucky in that one, but Gage takes it now in car number 85. The rest of them come through to uh, complete a red to the start of reds on the raceway. Oh, and the front well over there, over four of us, you four times, just to uh, celebrate coming home in second. So a big finish there by the front. goes down we are away and uh, racing with uh, the uh, wacky races the Siamese bangers heat number two and uh, Twiggy oh Jason Smy and David Matthew was on the back of Twiggy and they uh, take him straight back in looks like oh what's happening here with Karen Bowman turns it straight around in Canada 178 Robert Bessie 219 so then here comes the leaders and uh, oh and it's all happening there he goes Smy and Matthews with a head on, he goes Cook and Gage straight in there with the head of rollover, Mr. Star on the rollover as well, we go red, 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 red. So then, a uh, uh, lively start once again for the uh, Simon. Oh, and Lee Middleton there nearly going over straight away as the green flag goes down. In fact, he did roll over, remember, earlier on in the first race, but it's Middleton who comes down straight behind him in 8.30. Damien, oh, and stretch there. Pushes Middleton wide, he goes Damien Matthews with an attempt at a shot there on thing and what's, oh no, what is Licorice planning here? And Alex Hensby being 51 and 375, while Stretch is the leader. Damien Matthews and Smy are living with him at the moment, but Stretch, the national points champion in national banger race, he's absolutely flying. And a red Mr. Starter, red's on the raceway, red's on the raceway, as uh, Middleton goes over once again. This one the uh, best. So pass again, 188. Oh goodness me, uh, turns uh, a little bit too quickly. And uh, so we're off and racing. The ox of a uh, handbrake turn. So we're off then, it's 3-5-2 uh, Mr. Starter who is leading the way, Jackson uh, cut up the inside of the tyres onto the concrete to cut back in. So 5-5-1 five, five, and 3-3-7 three, three, Mr. Starter for Black Crosses there. There's uh, Callum Taylor gets involved with 3-3-4 three, three, Stewart, the rest of the field seem to have got on quite nicely, Ben Minot is uh, trying to lap Callum Gill at the minute, it's not, the, uh, it's not very often that happens. His 3-3-4 three, three, is uh, now parked against the flow of the traffic. So, 3-4-2 uh, round out there as well. Oh, here we go, a uh, big one there. As Taylor Souter comes in through Callum Lacey. 77, Russell Gill gets it wrong with 3-3-4 three, three, Stewart. So back towards they come then and it's uh, hard at it as Canham gets on the back of the Ox. So Canham hassling the Ox, I'm not sure he knows who he's dealing with. <laughs> as Sai Avis, oh dear me, tries to uh, take one or two out and pops another one. That's the end of the call. So 
So in we go down there, Licorice puts Carl Corsby away. So Carl Corsby uh, and it, oh, it looks for one minute there. Oh, Cunham goes in. So it's 3 5 2 to start. Ben Minot leads the way. 6 3 4, Ben Green is second. Oh, goodness me! Austin Freestyle, Riley Freestyle, I beg your pardon. With a huge Libya stretch now comes in. And it's uh, red, please, Mr. Star. Red's on the raceway. Red's on the raceway. Carl Corsby feeling that one big time. So we're off and uh, back running once again. 3 5 2. Ben Minot takes it up nicely. And uh, 7 5 7. Callum Gill has got to work hard to unlock himself. The Ox gets uh, pushed wide by the second man, Ben Green, who's chasing on. And the Ox is in behind Taylor Sauer and he's watching him get wound out. But, no. Taylor Sauer once again ducks to the infield. He knew what was coming. So, why not then? <laughs> Comes uh, back underway with this one. And uh, Taylor Sauer really joins. He's not far behind the Ox. So, why not is Well, Cunham, is he... Uh, no, I thought he was going to turn it around then. I don't know, but uh, no. So, uh, Reese Crane. Turn it around, free to go next time. It's Reese Crane on opposite. Who is he going to go? He's going to go for the leader! Ben Minot stopped by the 904 machine, but it hasn't done enough to stop him. So, goodness me. Ben Minot survives the challenge. The stretch is the next man to get wound round. But uh, Minot is uh, not been without instant for him. He's carrying on. So Minot leads. Ben Green a long way back there in second spot. And it's 5 5 1 Brett Jackson who is now there in third. So back towards they come. Ben Minot is who leads the way. Uh, still going strong out there at the minute. And then we've got Ben Green. Charging on in second, as Jackson's on the back of the Ox! Oh, but ruins it for himself, the Ox has got away with it, and Salter goes in on Jackson! So, Salter trying to make friends with the Ox! So, uh, back through they come then, and Minot is on the charge, Jackson's got himself first sorted out around there, and uh, gets back in, as Reese Crane has uh, now tried his hardest to get going again, the Ox doesn't go for revenge. Checker flags are ready, Ben Minot takes it 3 5 2 he celebrates there, he's quite happy about that. And uh, going hard, Ashley Garrett's uh, wheels all out of kilter down there, can this leave him open to something? The Ox is coming around, surely! No. Taylor Sauter though, Taylor Sauter, he's not going to give it up, oh, in on Ashley Garrett! And, uh, oh, goodness me! There we go, Mr. Star. Reds out on the raceway. Reds out on the raceway. Ben Minot takes it. And uh, plenty of entertainment to be had during that one. Green flag goes down. We're away and racing. It's 4 by 4 Mangers, heat number two. Leading the way is 93, Lewis Godfrey, 69, Brad Bartsman third, Dean Muldjob first. Callum White spins out, I'm not sure if that's by accident or design in Carnival 100. Down the back straight, 93, Godfrey leading the way. Our early race winner, 41 lead bars already up to third place, Chris Chip making good progress in the early lap also to come through to fourth spot. Callum White. Is he going to cause a bit of chaos as he uh, rejoins the track? Comes there for 4 4 1. Lee Hall, who spins out Taylor Salter. Also looking like he might be finding a way of killing his 4 by 4 in car number 3 8 8. It's Godfrey who leads down the back straight. It's Barton second in 69. Barnes third in car number 41. Karen Bowman also in the middle in car number 1 at 7 8. Barton there gets a bit sideways in car number 69. And uh, car number 41 Barnes comes through to second place. Bowman rejoins in 178, as does Sauter in 388, and in comes uh, White as well in 830. So then they're uh, flying around here in this 4x4 race, 441. Oh, and Taylor Sauter going backwards, trying to cause a bit of chaos, and no, oh, make Sandy shift. Take avoiding action there in car number 128. 
Also a stretch, also having to go wide. That is not a bit of a use. It's over, it goes quite wide there in the car number 100. The uh, copper all there straight into the uh, back of 388 Alice Alden. So then it's Godfrey still who leads in a car number 93, 41 bound second. In third place is Chris Schiff in car number 170, 128 under ship and 69 Brad Bartram. They go down the back straight, he's 93, going through the race leader. 41 bar second, one to eight ship, and one seven to ship, the Brewers chip. And the increase, having a good race in that third place. Goffrey there gets a bit uh, of a to whistle as he comes off of turn four. Barnes in car number 41 is closing, the ships are also moving well. In car numbers one, two, eight, and one seventy. They go down the back straight, 93, Goffrey leads the way, 41 bar second, oh. And uh, one to eight ship there, goes out and breaks the fence. Oh, and there, uh, Salter reverses it there, straight into the leader. And 93, Louis Goffrey has uh, nowhere to go. So three laps to go next time, it's started three laps next time around. As uh, Taylor Salter there, causing a bit of chaos in the uh, 388 car. In goes uh, 100 wide once again. But up front now is 41 bars, oh, the leader spawn! He tries to correct himself, though, there's Barnes, indeed, he manages to lose his hat. In goes forward as well in kind of a 4 4 1. And also going past the Nicolombe shipping in 1 2 8. So quite a few of them are getting involved in this way. In fact, it's Bartram. Not uh, ship deck. The Falkrow trying to free himself in the 100 car. But uh, it's a bit uh, more low room there. Now coming out of turn 4, Barnes negotiates it well, though, in kind of a 41 170 ship. Chasing. 100 Callum White and 178 Bowman free themselves. Oh, free themselves from the thing get moving, but uh, the Cockrell is still embedded. Oh, and uh, Brad Barter being involved there again. Here comes 41. Oh, no, what's he going to do there? Oh, and there's White there. Pulls out right in front of the leader, and the leader's got a lot to go. He's now got Chris Shipper and his bad number and shipping over to Bunbury. Lee Hawk bars his sideways going down into turns one and two for the final time oh and ship they glide his way through to the front in the 170 machine one champ oh and there's uh, going to go on there as uh, 100 Callum White in the back of Bowman still certainly plenty going on in this one it's going to be a win there for 170 ship with 41 balance just holding off the hard charging 830 Lee White a second and third the rest of them coming through like Bowman and uh, Paul Mike who rather across his finishes in this as well as they also come through. And now came Mr. Alonso as a rest, please. Goes now with a round race. It's Jordan Blitz all his way two four four there, right in the back of him on this uh, initial charge. So the Robins all go uh, flying around here. Been great in the town for the right Robins today. Mark Curtis there. Oh, Mark Curtis over. He's rolled over in every race. That's Curtis in two four four. It's wave yellows, Mr. Tyler. Wave yellows. So Mark Curtis there in one of the uh, Alice High cars. And certainly uh, been here, there, and everywhere. So uh, the wave yellows come out. And uh, we'll stop the uh, leaders. Green flag goes down, we're back racing. It's Will Falkland leads McCullough, all 3 2 with 194 Jordan Bliss. Diving up the inside, 5 5 1 Jamie O'Hanlon also up there with uh, Steve Willis in Calibre 66. Also coming, oh, and 2 4 4 is over again, he is indeed. Oh, and uh, Wave Yellows is the starter once again. Wave Yellows once again. Oh, and 2 over on the back straight out there, including uh, Bliss and uh, it could be the killer in Calibre 185. So, uh, all happening. Green flag goes down, and look at this, the whole large uh, of the light Robbins go finding there. The leader's taking that one, three, two, rolls right over there, and he lands on his wheels, and oh my word. Everybody survives that uh, bit of a couple of Steve Willis in trouble there in column 66, but they're all uh, a-okay. So here we've got the barrel for the lead then going towards us now. It is uh, car number 85 now, who's hit the front, James Ellis with 16, Ray Layton. 
right with her. Leighton there puts the bumper in on Alice, tries to force him right. Steve uh, Willis is going to rejoin right from the leaders, and Leighton now comes the outside line. Ellis on the outside line, trying to hold on. There's also a Gedge, not too far. Oh, he had and Willis there goes in, and he does a massive roll there to Roy Gedge. Gedge goes over three or four times there from an attack from Steve Willis in Canada 66. So then, was that revenge for something earlier on? Because uh, Gedge is certainly in trouble on that one. So then they go down the back straight now. It's James Ellis who leads in Canada 85. Ellis the leader from 16, right late in his second place. Third place is Porky, the British champion in 576 for Ellis. He's pulling away, but he could well lose that roof. In fact, the roof has gone off his reliant Robin now. Oh, a big one over there as well. 291 stiff, I think that was. He's uh, suddenly been in the walls here today. We're flying over there right in the vent. Over about four or five times with that one as well, but it's uh, all certainly happening with these reliant Robins. James Ellis, the race leader there in Canada 85, 16 late in second, 576, Porky the Steve Willis, he's still going in Canada 66. So the Robins certainly on a, a charge in this one. It is the Ellis who's pulling away now at the head of the first. In Canada 85. Not that you can actually see a number on the car, but never mind. So then Ellis the leader. 16, Ray Layton second, 576, Porky third. Willis a lap down in 66. Lee Barnard there coming under fire. Porky there getting a bit wrong going down the back straight. So then Ellis leading this one. Going well, Porky there. Oh, another big roll over over there. And that one's not easy going to go on its wheels. No, it's not. Wave the yellows, Mr. Starter. Wave the yellows on the raceway. Not really what James Ellis wanted to see because now we have the rest of the pack right behind him. James Ellis. The race leader in what has been an exceptionally entertaining. Oh, they're going a bit quiet, quick and now, and the green flag goes up. Willie sticks on the brakes in front of Gedge in 66. He knew it was always coming. He's going to try and get away, but Gedge is going to be after him. Keep your eyes on that. Hold from the race, Alice breaks away, and Gedge, oh! Gedge rolls himself over. Oh, and another big one there. As uh, 132 is also the up. And it's uh, way yellows, Mr. Stark. So. Roy Gedge there tries to attack Willis, it went all horribly, horribly wrong. So then James Ellis has it all to do once again. Green flag goes down, we are away in the line, Robin racing. Steve Willis tries to get away quickly at the inside of Porky. Is Gedge going to be able to mount an attack? Well, this time Willis gets away from the attentions of Gedge. It's James Ellis who leads away though. Porky through to second place in 576, then it's Ray Lake to next in line. Willis is a lap down in the 66 car, as is Gedge Willis really on an aggressive run though, it has to be said in the 66 car. Oh dear! He all spins it down there, there are three hours to go next time, it's down there next time! As, uh, oh, what over on the uh, infield there! As uh, Gage and Willis both uh, clash. So that and uh, it is Alice who leads. Later now spun out second place, Colin Aldrich into second place, Barnard in 490, could have come through to third now. So then Ellis, the race leader at the moment. Porky a bit further behind now in 576. Then it's Barnard in a car number 490. Ian Robbins coming through as well in a car number 96. The lap's carrying down. Lee Barnard now moving through to second place in the 490 machine. Gage has a go at the back end of Ian Robbins in car number 385. And Gage uh, could well be uh, playing a part in this one still. He is uh, not on the lead lap though. Ellis starts his final lap then in the 85 car. Here come the pack of the rest of Ellis. Gage there threading his way through. The barrel for second between 490 Barnard, 576 Porky, 96 Robbins. But no doubt about who's going to take the final. It's James Ellis, the birthday boy, who uh, wins uh, the Robin final here today. The rest of them from the final through a few places changing at the end of the Porky who comes through to second here, Robin third. Barla just missing out on that battle for the top three spot. Looks like he's already doing his butt got naughty things in mind going down the back straight. And they get uh, going off, it's uh, Licorice who leads the way. And oh my word! It is head on mark two between Jaggard and uh, Jackson. Exactly the same as we had before. 
Another massive one down there. Oh, front leading the way then, it's uh, Damian Matthews, combination and Jason Smy who lead in second place. Now we got uh, Reds, Mr. Starter Reds on the raceway, the Reds come out. Let's make sure those drivers are all A-OK. -okay. The drivers are coming out. Racing once again then with uh, the conclusion of this Siamese banger race. It's 87 Damian Matthews, he leads away. Luke Middleton in 5-1-9 in second place. So then they go down the back straight, it's Damian Matthews and Jason Smy who lead the way. Second place is Middleton and Scott Middle. Scott Miller in the 5-1-9 combination with as uh, Stretch tries to come through to take the lead now with Cal Cal number 8-3-0 and Lump oh but Souter in 3-8-8 in that battle for third place with Middleton on front though all smoking there is the new engine there it goes oh and away goes Souter he's spun out of it it is Matthews who leads in 87 we've got a smoking Cal calls me a stretch Barry down but quickly though in car number 8-30 in third place. So then these, uh, we're not quite sure about third, we'll have to wear on that one, but no doubt about the top two. It's Matthews who leads in 87, stretch second in eight. And there are three laps to go next time, Mr. Starter. Three laps next time round for our race leader, 87 Matthews. Great race here between the top two. They're going down the back straight, 87 Matthews, the race leader. Won the East Anglian Championship here at Kingsland last night in the unlimited bag, or Saturday night, rather. Behind him is stretching, Carl Coles, but they're not going to try and dive up the inside. It's neck and neck as they come through with three laps to go. Matthews just a nose in front. Stretch though, has the inside line. It's going to be stretching A30. Who takes the leader from Damian Matthews and Jason Smythe? Can Matthews and Smythe when he come out? They're only going to get one chance down this bend, I think. Because if Stretch gets away, they've got, got much of a chance after that. It's Stretch at least, but look at this a bit further back. They're now going to come across these map markers and it's going to cause chaos for the leader. Oh, and it goes Matthews! And uh, Jimmy Matthews then to the back of Salter. Stretch there comes flying through now to uh, take the lead and that could well be the end of uh, the race as far as uh, the lead goes on this one. It's Stretch who leads. Matthews and Smythe, oh and Middleton there goes in the back of Licorice, they uh, spin him around. Going down the back straight. Look well, what's happening here because we've got Matthews coming out of the lead. Oh, stretch leading, it goes Matthews with a big attack there. It's going to change on this final lap and Matthews comes through. Looks like stretch has expired in the A30 car. And what's going to happen here with Licorice? Oh, he goes Licorice. And uh, Middleton with a big head on there and it's going to be a final win and it looks like the only finisher for Damian Matthews or is the South are going to try and finish perhaps but uh, at the moment we've only got one finisher and that's uh... in goes Matthews there on the back of stretch so then it's DD time it's to start a green flag for what's left we'll have these remaining uh, One's come on now, the winner is the last time. He's back in the good mood, and he goes a tap there on Souter. And that was Middleton. Once again, we've got Bowman as a join. Gedge and the Cockerel have joined over there on the back straight. Hold tight, here comes Gedge and the Cockerel in 3 5 100. They're straight in there, the Souter's still being involved over there. So then at the moment we've got the Bowman combination still going to us and they're going to look at turning it around. Looks that way and... Uh, whoa! Over goes Roy Gedge and his Robin. And Callum White, Red comes out, Red's on the raceway. Yeah, they come down, down to uh, turns three and four. And it's going to be... Oh, another big head on there. And the Matthews car is still moving just. No life, we don't think, from the Bowman machine, but the Matthews car definitely did move a bit.
So we're off and uh, the green flag goes on the raceway. And 3-3-4 it is who uh, leads away. Spin the leader as Asprey now goes on the inside of the ox. So 3-3-4, well in fact John spin himself out there, 3-3-4. Here we go, and uh, the first attempt at spinning the leader, 248 Asbridge, is uh, uh, the ox, that is not in the plan. But uh, here we go, it looks like it's uh, game over, sadly for the ox, but uh, he's had a great day in that. 334 is, who still holds on at the front of affairs, and 248 Nick Asbridge is now uh, trying to apply some pressure, but 334 is starting to get away again, and it looks like. Uh, we might not have an attempt on spin the leader here. Oh, Stewart's uh, flying high at the minute. So, 334 it is, who uh, leads away. Taylor Souter then gets barged to one side as Nick Asperich moves in past Ashley Garrett, who received a big shot from Kieran Bowman in the previous race. So, 334 Stewart. And uh, in goes Taylor Souter. He has to spin the leader as well if he wants to go back past. And uh, Stewart. Gets a bit more traction on the outside of that track, and away he goes. So 334 it is who leads away. Taylor Sauer, the back marker, trying to apply some pressure. Nick uh, Nick Asprich, he's, he, does he think Taylor Sauer is the leader? But uh, Asprich fighting hard to try and get past the back marking Taylor Sauer. But Asprich, oh, decides that maybe following him in was the better option. Couldn't quite finish the job. Ashley Garrett's still doing well with uh, that micro. So, 334 Stewart it is who still leads away. Flying high out in front. 248 Nick Asbridge. Uh, some way down now, and it's Jack Licorice and Matt Bell who are uh, there as well. We've got a lurking Riley Freestone on the back straight. So, back through uh, they come then. Back towards he comes, 3 3 4. We haven't seen another rival yet, Mr. Starter. Stewart out in front. Nick Asprey uh, chasing hard in second. And to be honest, no one else has got in this race. So, Jack Licorice uh, there in third. Matt Bell in fourth. Kieran Bowman now starting to make a little bit of headway. And then the uh, superstar lineup of Ben Green. And we've got Jamie Blythe in Ben Minot. Callum Gill and Stretch Lee White, who's had a quiet day by his high standards. So Stewart leading the way, down the back straight, Ashley Garrett about marker in between the leader and Nick Ashridge, and I can only see this gap go.
back straight, round he comes onto the right side turn, so come on, cheer him as he makes his...